Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm thrilled to show you the all new 2021 Newmar Dutch Star. So there are 13 floor plans this year. I'm obviously gonna just go over one today. Wish I had all 13 to show you, but we're gonna go over the 4369. That's Newmar's uh, most popular floor plan in the Dutch Star. So we'll go over that. I also want you to notice this beautiful exterior paint. Now, one of the things that's kind of cool with Newmar is that you can customize your paint. So if you call me at National Indoor RV Centers, I can let you know what custom color it is that we have here today. So speaking of paint, uh, Newmar only uses the best paint. So the BASF paint, and this has the full paint masterpiece finish. So you're gonna have five stages of cut and buff and three coats of clear. So they go down the front and back. So essentially you have six passes. So one of the things that's great about that, if you go ahead and run your finger down the side of the coach, you don't really feel that transition from one color to another. So they just do an excellent job. So here at the front of the coach, I just want to point out this beautiful front cap. I love what they've done with it. Beautiful, I like the Numar badging in the front. And then let's just go top to bottom here. So at the very top, we've got our three marker lights. Then we have our first camera. So we've optioned this coach with the 360 camera. And this is the first camera that's gonna to contribute to that view. Then we have our beautiful windshield. This is how you're gonna see our beautiful country. I always point out the windshield because basically that's what sets you apart. When you're in a class A diesel, you get in your coach and your trip starts from the minute you get behind the steering wheel because you get this big motion picture movie screen as you go um, along the road and see this beautiful country of ours. So it's actually the getting there is just as fun as as being at your destination. Also with this windshield, Newmar mounts our windshield just like they do in the automotive industry. So it's nice clean lines. It's not just a rubber gasket that it's mounted in there. So we've got our chrome exterior mirrors with our first marker light. And then we've got our flagpole holder here, which I love. So you just got a little metal device that goes in there, holds your flagpole. So you can put your NIRBC flag, the American flag, or the flag of your favorite branch of the military since they are the reason that we get to enjoy this lifestyle. Uh, then we've got our camera. This is for the passenger side of the coach. So when you turn on your right blinker, you're gonna be able to see down the full length of the coach. And then we've got our marker light here. And then before I leave the front of the coach, I wanted to talk about um, that we've got diamond shield that protects our whole front cap, which is super, super important. You can kind of see where that transitions from diamond shield just to the paint here in the corner. Now, as we go to the front door, I want to point out that we've got a, a stainless steel plate here, kick plate. Um, I'm sure you've all been to coaches where you go to walk in and you see scuffs and scrapes right there in the paint. Um, this is going to help protect that uh, your paint and it will just look nice. Also, we've got our little stainless steel front steps, which are nice, just added things that Numar does. Then we've got our entrance door handle here. So it's nice and sturdy and we've got the uh, touch pad here so we can put our own unique code in there um, to get into the coach. We also have our key fob so we can lock and unlock the entry door and lock and unlock the cargo bays with our key fob. That's probably, you know, you know, I like to say one of my favorite things. Well, this is just one of my favorite things <laughs> because when you go to get into your baggage drawers and they're locked, it's really frustrating. I love to have that just easy and accessible. And then obviously you have the key that you get into your coach as well. So I mentioned this was the 4369 floor plan. So I want to give you a little hint here um, on Numar, especially the first two numbers are the length of the coach. So this coach is actually 43 feet, nine inches long and then 69 is the floor plan. So that's just a little, when you're going, you know, RV shopping at National Indoor RV Centers, check out those numbers and now you know what they mean. If you'll look up, we've got our porch light and then we've got our power entrance door awning, which I'll show you a little later. Now moving on to our tires. So we've got the Michelin tires, so only the best for Numar. And it's the 365 tires on the front and 315s on the rear. So some people wonder what that means. What, what is 365? A lot of people just think it's a bigger tire. It's actually a wider tire. So a wider tread, 
more tread on the ground, it's gonna give you a nicer, softer, smoother ride. We also have the uh, Alcoa aluminum rims. Now a lot of manufacturers use those, but Numar uses the Durabrite rims, so you don't have to polish them. And if you've ever polished rims, you know what I'm talking about. That's a big deal. I also want to make sure you go and check out my retro band video. So this is our spare within your tire. We have a version two of retro band coming out now. So give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers and you can get uh, a set on order for you. We already have a big back order of these. Version two comes with a steel band within the retro band, so it's gonna give you increased strength. This is just going to give you peace of mind as you travel down the road with your loved ones. All right, so here we are to our diesel fuel fill. This has a 150 gallon fuel tank, and you can fill it from the passenger side of the coach or the driver's side of the coach, which is wonderful. You're not gonna make any truckers mad, and then also they give us the little, uh, toggle here to keep the, um, ga the fuel cap so you don't run off without that. I like those little things. Uh, our marker light and then our docking light. I wanted to point out that on this Dutch Star we went ahead and optioned in the optional stainless steel trim package and that just gives this coach that extra high-end look. Then we go into our first baggage compartment. So we have the new and improved Dometic freezer. And that's nice, it's on a slide tray, and look how far it comes out. So what that means is when your slide room is out, you're still gonna be able to open up the, the refrigerator and freezer compartments all the way. It's really a pain if, if you can't. So you've got two compartments, you can make this a freezer, a refrigerator. If you're just tailgating, which I hope happens again, <laughs> hope we all get a tailgate again, you can just have this as a refrigerator and just have drinks out here, or you can make it a deep freeze. We optioned in the Gerard Nova awning package for this Dutch Star. So what you get with that, you're gonna get two Gerard awnings with the Nova pitch. You also get all power window awnings power entrance door awning. So those are pretty huge features. I'll show you when we get inside how the power window awnings come out, the buttons inside. But for your Gerard awnings, your control is right here. So you can do it from inside the coach or from the remote. So you just scroll through the channels. So zero is gonna bring out both Gerard awnings at the same time. Or you can just bring out your first awning or your second awning. So I'm gonna go to zero and hit out and both of my awnings are gonna come right out together. Now I can also turn on my awning lights right here. So I just hit that on and off. All right, so now that we've got our awnings out, it's time for some football, right? <laughs> well, I hope, I hope that we get to watch some football this fall. So here we have our 43 inch Samsung TV with our Bose soundbar. Now we've got the feature where we can bring the TV out. And this year, we, they've added the feature where we can tilt it down. And that's a big deal, because a lot of times the glare of the sun will just hit it just right, and if you could tilt it down just a little bit, you'd get rid of that glare. So I'm gonna show you how you do that. There's a little knob here on the back of the TV. Just pull it forward, and then you can tilt your TV forward and get rid of that glare. All right, moving on here. We've got our storage compartment. Now we've got big entry here into this compartment. So I've got my little measuring tape and 30 inches there of a, uh, to get into this storage compartment. That's how tall it is and you've got a little bit more space once you get inside. So that's really nice. We didn't put a tray here, but that's why you can get some taller items in there. And then between the frame rail the chassis rail and the bottom 18 inches without the test tray. So you're probably wondering what those two rods are inside this compartment. Those are a backup um, to bring your slide in manually if you ever have to. Thankfully, I've never had to, and I don't know anyone that's ever had to, but they had the backup there just in case, which is great. Newmars also supplied us with an air hose, so we can hook that up to our Quick Connect fill up our basketballs, footballs, pool toys, a lot faster that way. Now we have our pass-through tray. So this is wonderful. Uh, we've got a little lever here and I'm just gonna pull it out. 
This is 42 inches by 91 or 92, I think. So lots of space there. We've got the extra tiles in case we ever have a cracked tile in our coach. Newmar gives us some extra, so that's always nice. But this just makes it really easy to, you know, if you want to put a tool chest on here, things that are heavy to get in and out of the coach, this is going to extend both ways on the driver's side and on the passenger side. So I'm sure you're wondering the clearance when you've got the pass-through tray, what that clearance height is. So from the bottom of the pass-through tray to the bottom of the chassis rail, it's going to be 14 inches with the tray in there. From the top of the compartment to the bottom of the storage tray is 24 inches. All right, before we get to our last big storage compartment, I wanted to point out a few things on the side of the coach here. So at the top here, we've got our security light for the passenger side of the coach. Then we've got our window. This is for our half bath and it actually opens. Love that, little fresh air. Never hurt anyone. And then we've got another camera that's gonna contribute to our 360 camera. And then we've got our marker light. All right, so this is our storage tray. This isn't a pass-through. So this is 43 by 56 and you can just pull that out, but you can see you can get some nice big items on this um, tray, and you've got a lot of height here. We've also got our starter kit for our central vac, and then our central vac um, filter. This is where you would change that outside here. And you can also hook into your central vac here, so if you want to vacuum out your storage compartment here, if you want to pull up your car alongside, you can actually vacuum out the car right at your um, campsite, which is kind of nice. Then let's go in here. So we've got our direct TV splitter here. Over here we have our bedroom slide control. And then we had our, our auto generator start control panel. Two 110 outlets that were being used here. Then we've got our Gerard awning controls here and two 110 outlets. All right, so as we move to our last storage compartment, this is our pegboard compartment. And I love this, you can put tools in here, you can put extra um, oil, def, whatever. You've got a nice compartment for those to sit in and so they're not rattling around as you go down the road. Here we have our second docking light for the passenger side of the coach. And then just above this, you're probably wondering what that is. That is the vent for your uh, dryer. Then we've got our tag axle now this is a passive steer tag axle so that's going to give you a tighter wheel cut and you can always tell if you have a passive steer tag axle i use the whole belly button method you know in any versus the out <laughs> but when your front axle and your tag axle both have you know they're both outies that's when you know this is a passive steer tag axle so while we're here at the tag axle i want to talk about something that's unique to the freightliner chassis they have the V-Ride rear suspension. The V-Ride suspension gives you many things. Some of those things are, it dissipates the suspension forces through the chassis rails and the frame rails, so it reduces the stress through the rest of the suspension. Therefore, it's gonna give you more consistent, confident ride, more stable, less sway. Then we've got our compartment here for our DEF, which is our diesel exhaust fluid and that does have a shelf life so if you know you're planning on being in a park for three months you're heading to florida for the winter you may not want to fill that up all the way because you um, you know thick def can throw some error codes for your engine these engines are really big computers and that they don't, they don't like that so def doesn't like sunlight um, or heat so just remember that when you're refilling uh, your def tank 15 gallon def tank all right, so here we are to our chassis batteries. So we've got our chassis batteries and we've got our battery disconnect right here. That's super important that you know where that is. If we're not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers, where we store at least 300 coaches at each of our location, always plugged into 50 amp service, then you wanna make sure when you store your coach that you turn off your battery disconnect so you don't have any parasitic draw on your batteries. All right, and behind this panel here, we have fuses and relays for the battery. So you're probably wondering what this big thing is right here. Uh, this is your diesel particulate filter. So we've got the DPF and then we've got the DEF, don't get them confused. <laughs> Apparently um, Freightliner loves the acronyms. So the diesel particulate filter is an exhaust device that traps 
particulate matter such as like soot and ash to reduce emissions from the diesel vehicles. So the diesel particulate filter, it captures and stores the exhaust soot and then it periodically needs to be um, burned off to regenerate the filter. Then we have our last marker light before we go to the back of the coach. So now it's for some fun um, engine talk here. I'm sure you've all been waiting for that. So first of all, before we get to the engine, let's check out, we've got our third camera, our rear, rear view camera, plus it's gonna contribute to that 360 view that I keep talking about. Beautiful rear cap of the Dutch Star. Another camera right here. And then let's go ahead and get into the engine compartment. All right, so let's talk about what's back here. So here we have our Oasis hydronic heating um, coolant here. We've got our transmission fuel fill here and, and dipstick. Then we've got our engine oil dipstick. Now this is gonna be different than the dipstick for your car. Look at how long that is. Probably taller than I am. So a little bit different when you're checking that oil. And then when you're ready, you will fill that oil right here. And then just behind that, which is really nice, they've given us a light for this compartment. If you're ever having to do any work back here in the dark, um, which happened to me, you'll want to check out my RV 101 series um, where I actually had a little, uh, you know, issue at night. And that light is kind of nice to have if you're doing work at night. So that's great. Then we've got our coolant here and this is our fill. Again, make sure this is uh, that your engine is cool when whenever you take that cap off. Then we've got our fuel filter water separator here. And just below this, we've got our uh, engine air reminder. So when that gets up to the red line here, it's time to change your um, engine air filter. We've got our power steering fluid here, our engine oil filter. So you've got your engine air cleaner here. So what's gonna happen, it's gonna take air, ambient air from outside, through the filter right here, bring that into the coach, go through the air cleaner into your engine. And here we have our engine block heater. So we're just gonna go ahead, you can plug that in right here. You'll need this on cold, wintry mornings. And here we have a Deutsch plug for a, a technician to be able to plug in and run diagnostics for the engine. So the Dutch Star comes on either the Spartan chassis or the Freightliner chassis. This Dutch Star is on the Freightliner chassis, so it's on the Freightliner XCR 450 horsepower chassis with 1250 pound-foot of torque. We can tow 15,000 pounds with this hitch. So what does that mean to you? That means that you can, so that means you can easily tow your Jeep Grand Cherokee or your Jeep Grand Cherokee and your toys, your jet skis, whatever. You're not gonna fill it. You're not gonna have a problem here. We also have our seven way here for our lights. And then we have our airline for our tow vehicle. Get that off. And while down here, I want you to make sure you notice that beautiful Numar mud flap that they give us. And then one more thing that's super important. So the Freightliner custom chassis comes with Ultra Steer. Ultra Steer is gonna give you a 12 degree turning angle. It's the tightest turning radius in the industry. And you're gonna have a 17% reduction curb to curb radius. So I'll try to demonstrate this when I'm out on my test drive. Hopefully I can find a place where I could do like a U-turn and you're gonna be amazed at how this will turn on a dime. All right, as we come around the driver's side, we've got our marker light, first marker light. Then we've got our side radiator. Now this is great for a couple reasons. First of all, I was just at the back of the coach and you can see that you can easily get to your um, filters and your oil change, all that's very accessible when you have a side radiator. Also, the side radiator is gonna bring in ambient air from uh, outdoors so it's going to have cleaner air it's not going to be bringing up the uh, dirty air that's coming off the bottom of the coach to help cool that uh, fan so it's not going to have to work as hard also just a little radiator care every once in a while you want to take your garden hose just put your thumb over the end of it not really um, you know too strong of a stream but you just want to gently 
uh, rinse off those coils of the radiator so again that it will stay clean, work better, work more efficiently, give you more horsepower. So then right above the radiator we have our emergency egress door. I'll show you how this works from inside. This is really nice so another safety feature added by Numar and you can only access that door from the inside. There's no handle here so it just kind of blends into the side of the coach which is really nice. Also where we're here I wanted to point out that we have the dual um, paned frameless windows throughout the Dutch Star. Again nice insulation and they just look beautiful. Then we've got our DEF fill from the driver's side of the coach. It's nice to have that on both sides so that you don't have um, truckers getting angry with you when you're at truck stops filling up. We've got our passive steer tag axle, our first docking light for the driver's side of the coach, and then we've got a little compartment here. I like to call this the stinky slinky compartment. Um, if you carry a stinky slinky with you, I like to have it in here just because it's away from the wet bay. Keeps everything more clean and sanitary. So. All right, so you see the exhaust here. You're probably wondering what that's for. It's nice that it's on the driver's side of the coach. This is the exhaust for your Oasis hydronic heating module, which is gonna give you your on-demand um, hot water, also be your furnace once you drop below, uh, you know, 35 degrees. Now this is our beautiful wet bay. I love what Numar's done. They've given us this nice stainless steel panel, just makes it look that much more high-end. Um, and when you're spending this much money, you want it to look nice. So I, I, I appreciate that. Um, they've also given us a spot here for our um, paper towels. I like to have that because I want to be able to clean up after I do all this dirty work here. Again, I want you to refer back to my RV and 101 series. I go ahead and I have a four part series. I take a trip from start to finish. I show you how I hook up everything here at the wet bay and then disconnect when I go to leave. So. Um, some good tips and tricks in that as well. We've got our exterior shower and they've upgraded the shower. Look how nice that is. So you can actually like, take a real shower out here if you've got a little privacy. Wash off the kiddos, wash off the pets before you head on into the coach. And you've got the hot and cold there for that. Then we've got our water pump. You can turn on your water pump right here. Your RV SantaCon system, so that's like your macerator for your black tank. You can turn that on right here. We have our sewage rinse. And we have our tank rinses here. Now let me talk about the rinse. Um, in my mind, I think of a rinse and I'm thinking of like a rinse that you have in your dishwasher where it's gonna power rinse all your dishes. It's not quite that strong. It's just merely water. They're putting water into your tanks and kind of pushing everything through. So it is helpful. Then we've got our um, hot and cold low point drains, our tank rinse. Now your hot and cold low point drains, you're gonna need those if you decide to winterize your coach yourself. Now we can do that for you at National Indoor RV Centers. It's not necessary if you're a storage customer of ours at National Indoor RV Centers, but if you're not, your instructions are gonna be right here. Then we've got our, here is our stinky slinky that we can just take. And another thing that I like is you're gonna have this opening here. You're gonna open up this here. You've got it nice and, and then you're gonna thread that through so that you can seal off your coach. And then once you put that through, you just put that little lip up there. So you're not gonna be able to let any critters into the coach, which is nice. Now also, we have a bypass here. So if you wanna do a gravity dump, you can hook up your clear el elbow here, thread that through, and then you would use these are your valves to dump, to dump your tanks. Put that all back in here. Also notice that Neymar gives us a nice liner here because we are going to get some water in this bay occasionally. This way it's not going to soak through into our basement compartment. I really like that. Um, we've got our um, freshwater tank fill. So we have a manual fill here if we turn it up or we have the auto fill if we keep it there. Our filter for our water for the whole um, coach and then we have our fresh water hose here. Another thing that I really like is that this is on a power reel. But before I take that all the way in, I'm gonna show you this. So when you're hooked up, it's gonna fit between these rubber seals here. Again, keeping your uh, wet bay compartment sealed off from any critters. And then we're just gonna go ahead and retract that all the way.
Oops, and a little water. <laughs> See, that's why you put that cap on. <laughs> so the Dutch Star has three slide rooms. It has this big full wall slide, and then you've got two slides on their passenger side. When this big full wall slide is extended, it comes out and it's a little bit more difficult to get into these spaces. So if you'll notice when I shut this door, this is on a slipper hinge. So when your slide is out, it's gonna drop down, give you a little bit more clearance, just easier to get in and out of your um, compartments here. So they've got the slipper hinge on these compartments on the driver's side. All right, so here's super important compartment because this is our 50 amp shore power cord. Um, love this because it is on an uh, electric reel as well. And you also have the little rubber seal here so that when you plug in again, you keep this um, compartment free from critters. And then here's the power button. So you just retract that back in. I promise if you've ever had a, a trailer or an RV that doesn't have that on a power reel, um, you'll really appreciate it when you get the power <laughs> reel. Um, then we've got our SureGuard RV power protection transfer switch in here. And we also have our cable connect. So we connect to the cable here, our SAT1 tri tripod and our Satellite2 tripod. All right, we have one new panel in here. So right here, we have our RV power monitor for ATS or for our automatic transfer switch. Now we're not, we're at the park, so we're not plugged into 50 amp service. If we were plugged in at a park with, with electrical service, it would show us the voltage and we could go up screen or down screen and have a, a display here on the panel. So we have our driver's side security light here midship. Then we have our fourth camera that's gonna contribute to that 360 view inside the coach our marker light. Here we have our high Oasis hydronic heating module. Now again, that's going to give you your on-demand hot water. You're not gonna have to worry about taking a cold shower. And it's also gonna provide your furnace once you drop down below 40 degrees. All right, so here's our pass-through tray to the driver's side. I'll just show you how easy that is. Of course, it's super easy because I don't have it. I don't have it loaded up with stuff yet, <laughs> but it still works really well. So you can easily get to your items from the passenger side or the driver side of the coach. Again, watch this door as I close it. You're going to see see that slipper hinge, and then again as I open this one, it just drops down, opens, and here we have our pass-through compartment without the tray. All right, and behind this door we have our very important house batteries. So you can just remove these pins and then pull those right out. So we've got eight AGM batteries. So those are pretty much maintenance free. We went ahead and we added the extra two batteries to this coach. Six is what comes standard in the Dutch Star. And anyway, maintenance free, you really don't have to do anything with those. Um, just give me a call when you're ready to change out your batteries. It might be ready to change out, time to change out your coach. Just kidding. <laughs> so here we have our second docking light for the driver's side of the coach, our marker light, our fuel fill for our diesel fuel, 150 gallon tank for the driver's side of the coach. And then we've got our exhaust here. This is for our generator. Dutch Star comes with the um, 10,000 watt generator. And here we have kind of the power management system for the front part of the coach. So you've got all your fuses here. It, you know, front light goes out, this is where your fuse will be. And then Numar always is so kind to give us the extra fuses here. I love that. And then we've got the release button here for the front cap. You can go ahead and release that. Before I head to the front, I just want to point out our camera for our driver's side of the coach for when we turn on that left blinker that we can see down the full length of the coach and our last marker light for the driver's side of the coach. All right, up front. I think it was last year they gave us the new hinges. I love those. I don't have to monkey around with that thing up here anymore. <laughs> Makes it so nice. First thing that we need to do is pull out that generator. So here is your T-bar to release that. So just pull on that. And look how easy that is. Comes right out. How nice is that? Great for servicing your generator. This is your 10,000 watt generator, Onan generator. This is where if you were happen to trip a breaker, this is where you'd have to uh, pull over and reset it. Also, you're gonna have your generator hours here. 
And then let me show you, I just need to get inside here a little bit. If I take off this panel, you have the oil dipstick for the generator and the oil fill. So here are our air horns. Um, now when I'm driving something this big, I definitely want to be able to make sure they know I'm coming. So I always have those turned on. You have your little wussy horns right here. And again, I'm not exactly sure why you even have a wussy horn, but there they are. Then we have um, another favorite of mine. This is your hot water line to this generator area. So what you can do, you can carry a hose with you, hook up your hose when you get to the campground, you're gonna have hot water to wash off your windshield and your front cap. And I always say this, I always get some funny comments from people, <laughs> cause I'll say wash off your front cap cause you don't want bugs to eat through that diamond shield. So I don't know that all the bugs are dead when they hit your front cap. Some are pretty pesky and they will still try to eat through. So I always recommend washing that off once you get to your camp um, ground at night or you know do it when you're at a gas station. Um, just be careful that you've got clean water. And then if you're a storage customer at National Indoor RFB Centers, a lot of our customers will ask us to always wash off the front windshield, the front cap before they put their coach in the storage. They may want to have it washed fully before they take it out again, hit the road so they've got a nice shiny clean coach when they leave. Um, just some little tips for you there. This is our oil filter for our, OA our Oasis hydronic heating system. And then we've got our windshield wiper fluid here. So as I pointed out in our storage bays, we have an air hose and you can connect that right here if you wanna fill up um, some balls and stuff, but this is your quick air connect here at the front of the coach. Over here, we've got our dash AC system and then we've got the hydraulic system and reservoir for our leveling jacks. All right, so are you ready to head inside? One more little um, tidbit of information before we head in. A lot of people will ask me how tall these coaches are. So this is 13 feet, one inch tall. So let's go inside and check it out. All right, so as I step inside the coach, a couple things I wanna point out. First of all, got these great grab bars. So here and here, you're gonna safely enter and exit your coach as long as your hands are free. Um, another bonus too that I didn't mention about outside is you've got storage compartment in both stairs. I like to throw shoes in there, just keep the coach nice and clean. Shoes, you can put your dog leash, dog food, um, right there, super easy. And then as you step in the coach, you've got your battery disconnect button. So that's always nice as you're leaving or entering, you can just hit that on or off. Then you've got your cargo lock and unlock. This is great. You've got the key fob that you can unlock your cargo, um, your basement door, storage doors but you don't always have your keys in your hands, as I found out a couple times today. Every time you turn your coach on, release that park brake and put it into drive, it's gonna lock your baggage compartments automatically. So if you stop and get out to get something out of that, you gotta remember it's locked. So it's really nice. You can just come into the door and hit that unlock button, super easy. And then you've got your patio light here, which is also gonna illuminate the stairwell here which is really nice. Again, a safety feature, so you've got the nice grab bars, the light when you step in, and then just below that, very bottom on the floor there, you've got your fire extinguisher. So you can use that, you know, you can quickly get to that inside the coach or if you need it outside the coach, very accessible. All right, as we step into the Dutch Star, I wanna make sure you notice the beautiful cabinetry in here. So this is the Glacier Glazed Maple. So this is a new cabinet color for 2021. We were really excited about it. They had this in Ventana Country Star, I think last year, and they brought it up to the Dutch Star, which is great because it gives us a lighter, lighter option. I like that because it kind of opens up the space. A lot of times when I do a light cabinet, I'll pair that with a darker leather. So you have some contrast and I just think it makes it look really rich in here. So let's go um, talk about what's behind me in the cabinet here. We have just storage, and that's a hard set shelf there, but you, I'm sure you'll find something to put in there. And then we've got the 43 inch Samsung overhead TV. This is an optional item that we optioned in. We also have the JBL 180 watt sound system here. And then this is a very important cabinet here. So if we start from the very top there, 
we have our Wi-Fi Ranger, another optional feature. So you can um, subscribe to basically, basically add another card to your phone plan so that you can make this a hotspot for your coach, just like you have at your home. This is the WineGuard Traveler satellite for HD. So this is gonna give you high definition in the campground. Um, and this is set for direct TV. And then we've got two, or we've got one free 110 outlet up in this compartment as well. Then let's go over here. We've got our Magnum Energy um, control panel for our inverters here. And then we've got the wine guard over the air antenna. So you just go ahead and hit it on. And then I'm gonna hit search. Now we're inside our building at National Indoor RV Centers and it will pick up. So 12 stations right now that we can get just over the air, which is great. Now let's talk a little bit about our Oasis um, mod, um, control panel for our hydronic heating system here. So this is where we would turn on our Oasis um, diesel burner right here. Um, you're gonna turn that on anytime you've got, you know, couple or more people taking showers. Uh, if you've got your furnace on, you're definitely gonna need that diesel burner running. You'll be using your diesel, obviously. Then you've got your AC heat. heat. So this is your alternating current one, alternating current two. So those are basically your heating elements. So let me give you a little scenario here. Um, if you are like our CEO who full times in his coach, he, during the summer months here, it's a hot day in Texas today, he'll just keep his um, AC1, his one element on, he's plugged into 50 amp service. He might as well use the electricity at um, the campground that you're at. So he'll just use the heating element because that will give him enough hot water for one shower. Now, if you have more than one person that wants to shower, then uh, you're definitely gonna wanna turn on your, your diesel burner so that you have content that once you've used the water that's heated from the heating element, that then you'll have hot water from the continuous um, hot water system. Um, if you're only plugged into 30 amp, you can probably only use that AC1. Once you're plugged into 50 amp, you can use both heating elements, AC1 and AC2. Then we're gonna go over to our security lights. So this is our driver's side security light that I pointed out outside, that's midship. And this is our passenger side security light that is midship passenger side. Our block heater, so if you've got that plugged in like I showed you back at the engine compartment, you can just turn that on here and start warming up that engine block. We've got our exterior step button. So once you're at the campground, you don't want that step to continuously go in and out every time the door opens. So you're gonna go ahead and um, touch that button there. We have our exterior LED lights um, below the slide here. So we can turn those on and off there. Here we have our doors, our off door side slide out. So this is gonna be our full wall slide in the Dutch Star. And we have our door side slide out. So that's gonna be our kitchen slide um, in this 4369. Then let's go over here. We've got our Gerard awning controls and those are gonna work just like I showed you outside. So if I have them on zero, both Gerard awnings will extend at the same time. I can also lock them from in here, turn on the light from in here and go through the channels. All right, entrance door awning. This is where you can extend and retract your entrance door awning, entrance door awning light on and off here. Your off door side living room awning. So this is where you'll extend that. Remember these are all powered awnings, which is great. Um, and then we have our door side living room awning here. This is our power control center. Basically it's telling us what kind of power we have coming to the coach right now. So we're hooked up to 50 amp service. This is also going to shed the load. If we're over taxing the system, it will uh, turn off one of our AC units and just go through so that we don't overtax the loan um, what it's capable of doing. It will shed it for us. So this little screen is super important. This is where we can get the reading for our tanks. Um, we can turn on our water pump here. It's also gonna give us um, the output of our house and chassis batteries. And it will also let us see our tank levels here. So our freshwater tank is 105 gallons. Um, we're on empty right now. Gray tank is 75. They've increased that, so that's huge. We love that. And our black tank is now 55. Now, 
if we go to our AC system, you have to turn that power button on. So without that, if it's not lit up red, then it's on off. But this is how you can control your AC and heat in the coach. So you can go to your living room, kitchen, do them separately and put them on their different modes, increase or decrease the um, temperature. And then you've got setup mode. This is where you can program your AC or your heat to be a certain, you know, you know, run a certain time or be at a certain temperature on a daily basis. Now this may cause you more frustration than it's worth if you are traveling like you do in an RV and say you're in a, you know, Texas one day and you're in South Dakota the next day where it's nice temperature, you, it may just be more trouble than it's worth, but that, that is where you can do that. And then you've got your hold button. So your hold button is going to override whatever program setting you have for that time of day until the next program setting comes on. So say, again, it's super hot in Texas. You have a program to not, um, the AC to not come on, but you wanna go ahead and hit that AC down and override your, your program, you're gonna hit the hold button so that it will stay at that temperature. Then we have our Eco, which is a more efficient way to run your AC. Now I finally get to talk about the beautiful interior of the Dutch Star. So this is the Chatham interior. Now one of the things that I love about Numar um, is that you can customize things in your coach. So you can change out a, change out a countertop or a floor. This is, uh, we've customized this coach with the beautiful King Air floor. So Ann and Jim, who recently ordered from me, this is what your floor is gonna look like. If you wanna find out what custom items we've added to this coach, feel free to give me a call at 469-277-1120 or call any of our lifestyle specialists at National Indoor RV Centers. They'd be happy to help you customize your order. When you're spending this much money, it's kind of fun to make it uniquely yours. So you can choose several different furniture options in your coach as well. So you can have sofa, sofa, or you can do sofa recliners, you can do sofa theater seating. We went ahead and chose the recliners with the end table. So these are very popular and I'm telling you, they are super comfy. Just pull the little lever here and then push forward and I can be comfortable here all day. It feels so good to be off my feet. <laughs> um, now, and, and they're just nicely pointed, they swivel and these are not connected. Um, or bolted to the slide room. So you can move these out if you want. Some people, if there's space, will even turn them. Um, actually, you could turn it this way when your slides are in and it gives you a little bit more room in your walkway or it feels a little bit bigger. Now this is a cool little feature too here in your end table. Check out that. You've got little cup holders right there and then you've got Nice deep storage there, and look how long that is. Another thing that comes standard with the Dutch Star, soft close drawers, love that. And then here, got the tele televator switch here, so if we just hit that up, then our huge 50 inch Samsung TV 4K is gonna come up. And then we've got our reading lights. So our reading light for this chair over here. And we've got our reading light right here for this chair. And then we have two 110 outlets and two USB outlets here. And we also have two 110 outlets over there. And then I wanted to show you the storage space in the upper cabinets here. So I love, there's no divider here. And they've got that uh, automobile lining in here. So they're, you're not gonna have things rolling around or rattling in there to make noise. But look at all that storage space. Love that. And then I just love how nice the doors all shut. Another thing too that you can always do with Numar is put your hand across the bottom of the cabinets. They can actually hang a straight cabinet door. Super important, one of those things to look for when you're shopping. Now, right below the cabinet here, we have our first thermistor 
for the living room area of the coach. The thermistor is what speaks to the thermostat to keep that nice, pleasant temperature that you enjoy. And I'll point those out as we go along. Also, one more thing I wanna show you is something new for 2021. Check out the new lighting um, sconces. Aren't those pretty? I think they're so nice. I'm remodeling my home, so you know I'm really noticing all these little details, but they're big. And just below that beautiful sconce here, we have one of our um, multiplex lighting system panels. So we have our ceiling lights for the living room area, our dinette lights, wall lights, overhead seat lights, our ceiling lights high and low, and our accent lights right here. So those on and off. And then our wall lights, you can see that those are gonna go on and off. And then we've got two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports. So we've got plenty of outlets, guys. <laughs> I also want you to notice the beautiful ceiling treatment in the Dutch Star. I think it's just simple and elegant. I love the backlit lighting. Also something that's unique about this is all your AC vents are behind the ceiling treatment. So that's when you look down the ceiling of the Dutch Star, you, it isn't lined with vents on both sides. Another thing that's really nice about that is when the slide rooms come in, your AC is still completely exposed. So it's gonna cool quicker, it's not cooling the top of the slide rooms and then spilling over. It's directly in the area that you're living. Also, I get asked a lot in a Newmar, can we add a ceiling fan? They don't do ceiling fans in Newmar because that is right where their ceiling treatment is, where the airflow is coming directly down on you. So another thing that's great about these is that they're very easy to change the um, air filters. So you just, they're magnet and you just pull them down and then you can just merely put your fingers up there and pop these. If you don't have fingernails, they just pop out, wash off the filter, stick it back on there and then you just pop it right back up so super easy to do I love that all right before we move on to the bed and I demonstrate all that I wanted to go over this panel right here because it's super important so first of all I love it because when you first walk in the coach if you want to light up the coach kind of give you runway lights you're gonna walk in and hit these two lights together as you're exiting the coach if you want to turn everything off all the lights accent lights everything you're gonna hit those two buttons. I'm not gonna do that for you because then I'm gonna go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and have to turn every light on again. But I really like that feature. So we have our bathroom light, ceiling lights here in the living room, ceiling lights high and low, our bedroom lights, our accent lights, our accent lights all off. Now right below here, we have option this coach in with the heated floors. So you can turn them on here and you can go to high, medium, or low. Let's talk a little bit about the heated floors. First of all, it's a great feature. It's electric floor heat. So it's, um, they're actually on square pads below your tile. So there's some bonuses to that. It gives you very um, even heat. So you're not gonna have cold and hot spots. Um, I love to keep the floor heat on just a little bit, even the summer. So you hop out of bed and your feet are, you know, nice and cozy. <laughs> um, you know, spoiled, I guess, but it really is nice. One of the other great features about the heated floors is that you can turn your heated floors up and, okay, say we're plugged into camp electricity. We're at 50 amp service. Um, you wanna go ahead and use the electricity at the camp rather than running your um, oasis and burning diesel fuel. If you don't have to, you can turn on your heated floors and then just run the fans in your AC system, just the fans only, to circulate the air. And you can get down, you can stay really nice, warm, and cozy in your coach down to about 20 degrees without turning on your furnace. Um, just between the heated floors, circulating that air. Um, so they're a great feature, you're going to love them. Now let's go over this sofa here. So we have this nice sofa. This is also gonna make into a bed. So I'm gonna show you how easy that is. So we can have our guests over. We're gonna take the back cushions off here. So you wanna find the strap here and just release the seat. Pull up and out. 
That's going to give you your base. Nice and easy. We're going to fold down the back of the sofa. And here's your air mattress. I'll go ahead and blow that up and show you what the bed looks like um, when it's all done up. And the nice thing is all you have to do for this air mattress, it's all contained inside the mattress here. So you're just going to unsnap it here. And then your pump is right here. And you're just going to plug that into the wall and blow it up. All right, so now it's all blown up. This is gonna be like a queen size uh, mattress. I've got two king size pillows on this bed here. So you're gonna be able to easily sleep two full size adults or a couple kids, grandkids, um, very comfortably. After the slumber party, it's super easy to take this bed, um, take the air out. You just hit the button the other direction and it will just take all the air out and then you fold it up and put it all back. All right, let me show you what's in the cabinets here above the sofa. So we have storage here. Now you're probably wondering what this is. This is a header, just like you, were, you would have if you were building a home. So we haven't really talked about the construction of Numar, but they have uh, like two and a half inch thick walls. They have the hung wall. So they have um, aluminum framing, 16 inch off center. Um, built just like your house, insulated like your house, so you're going to be able to keep this coach cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And then we've got our Sony Blu-ray DVD player, and we've got our uh, input for Dish Network. It's prepped for Dish Network, and we've got an extra 110 outlet up here. We've got our Bose sound bar and more storage here. Before we go into the kitchen, I wanted to show you the fan control button here with the rain sensor override. And we have the high, medium, and low. Then we have our overhead lights, our kitchen lights. We have our kitchen and living room backlights. So you can actually turn off that panel lights if you want to not have those shining at you. And then we can turn the water pump on from here. All right, now to our favorite part, the kitchen, right? So look at all this counter space that we get in the 4369. Uh, we have customized the countertop for this and also the backsplash. So we've optioned this uh, 4369 with the kitchen window. I really like that. You know, you can see outside when you're standing here cooking or when you're sitting down having dinner, you can look outside and it just brings more of the outside in, which is all what I love about RVing. Um, and I love all this counter space. We can even get more counter space when we extend out. Just super easy. There's a little button right under there that you push. And then you've got your full extension drawers. Look at that, nice and deep. And then soft clothes, which I love. We've got this big drawer here. So we've got lots of remotes in right now. Really, don't get stressed out about that. National and RV centers, our technicians will teach you everything you need to know. Just don't ask me about them. <laughs> Still figuring the ones out at my house. Um, but I love that big deep drawer. And then we've got our optional um, dishwasher underneath here. So we're just gonna hit the power button so we can open that up. And you can see that you can get quite a bit of dishes in there. Let's uh, container for your utensils and then let's go up to the cooktop here okay so love that these have dual purpose not only do they hide the cooktop but you've got a cutting board on the back side so they're actually useful not too heavy and then we've got the induction cooktop which is removable so just simply take that out unplug it you can take this out and cook outside um, you know, I love bacon, but it makes a lot of mess and it smells like bacon for a long time, but we love the smell of bacon. So maybe like salmon, another thing that I love, but I don't love to have the smell of it or the mess in the kitchen. So I may want to do that outside. So that's a nice option to have. And then we'll go over here to our cabinets. So we've got the adjustable shelves in our cabinets, which I love. Little spice cabinet above our Whirlpool convection microwave. And then we've got another big cabinet here with the pull-out shelf. So that would be really hard to get to the back of that. You can take that shelf out too, it's adjustable. So if you wanna put a big Instapot in here, coffee pot, 
you can totally do that. And speaking of coffee pots, you're probably wondering where you can plug that in. So if you look underneath here, I've got two 110 outlets at the end of my cabinets. And here in the center, I have another two um, 110 outlets. So look at this beautiful residential faucet. And then we've got a nice, deep, dual sink bowl, um, stainless steel sink. So I love that. I also love that these covers kind of work as a, um, you know, more counter space if you need it, or you can put the dirty dishes in here and then you just slide that across. They disappear. Great for guests, right? I mean, you have to do them eventually, but I like to, I like to have a little uh, help there. We've got a little flip drawer here and then our big cabinet here. So also we can take our sink covers if we're not using them and we can slide them right back in here. So we have a spot for them if we're not using them. And then we have the pull out drawer with extra space for cleaning supplies or whatever. And then another full extension pull out drawer. All right, and one more cabinet. Not super big, but you know, I'll find something that's gonna fit in there perfectly. And then here to our, our dinette. So we've optioned this coach with the combination desk dinette. Um, we do about 50% of this and then we do about 50% uh, the Euro booth. So um, this is kind of nice, especially if you're going to office out of your coach, you have more um, storage space back here. And then this does extend and we've got two extra folding chairs that go with this. But you also have storage here. Flip down with a pull-out desk here. You just want to tuck your keyboard or your computer, your laptop away. And we have quite a bit of, good, bit of storage there underneath the table. Nice big drawer here, which you can make a filing cabinet if you need to. So it gives you like a, a lot of amount of space here. And then we've also got our storage above the dinette. Again, with no divider. So that helps you get more stuff in there. So here's the dinette with the two extra chairs. So you can see that you can easily get four people for dinner. And then one of the things I love is that we went ahead and put leather on the chairs there. Newmar's added leather to the seat, which is great. Makes this a lot easier to keep nice and clean. All right, then we've got our Whirlpool refrigerator. Look how nice that is. Lots of space. Got the little deli tray here. And then we have the freezer with ice. Always gotta love that we have ice, right? And most importantly, when you're heading out for a trip, you wanna make sure that you lock your refrigerator and your freezer so that they don't come swinging open when you're traveling down the road. It makes a huge mess. So if you want a copy of my checklist, you can go to my RVing 101 video, watch it there. I walk through the checklist, but if you would like me to email you a copy, just email me at angie at nirvc.com and be happy to send you one. Um, we also have water in the door. That's always nice. Filtered water, because it's gonna go through the house filter plus the refrigerator filter, so two filters. And then we have the great pantry that you get in the 4369. So they've got the locking shelves. So you just have to push in to unlock and then pull out those shelves. And they are adjustable as well. So if you've got tall cereal boxes or if you want to put some heavier items like a crock pot, Instapot down at the bottom, you can adjust the height of those shelves so that they'll work for you. And then again, just push in and pull out. Really, really nice. Now, one more thing before we head into the half bath here, we want to point out our second thermistor for the coach. Again, that's gonna help regulate the temperature, keep it nice and comfortable inside your coach. All right, so we're gonna head into the half bath of the 4369. Now, notice that this is our pivot door. That's gonna make it so when our slides are in, which I'll show you in just a little bit, you can fully open that door. You don't have to worry about it hitting into the molding of your full wall slide. So that's great. When you get inside here, again, beautiful lighting. We've got our fantastic fan here, our towel holder, lots of storage in this corner cabinet along with two 110 outlets. 
and then we've got the control for our fan, high, medium, low, our ceiling lights, our accent lights, our vanity lights, our heat, and our water pump. And then we've got this vessel sink. Now Newmark does this so that you have more space, more countertop in this um, bathroom. And then we've got a cabinet here below. And just below that we've got our central vac where we could hook up that and we can we have a long enough cord to go to the front and the back of the coach and then my favorite thing the dustpan you just lift that up and just sucks everything away that you swept over to that and then we have the two 110 outlets we have the flush mechanism for your toilet we have our shade control here they are not on the remote because we don't want someone to accidentally open that window while someone is in here so you've got your day and your night shades there. And then above here, we've got our fuses and they're all nicely labeled on this store. The extra fuses that Numar gives us and then we've got the breaker box for the coach. And we've got some 110 outlets at the top. All right, heading into the master bedroom. First of all, we have the nice um, solid doors. We've optioned those in. You can also, they come standard with uh, reeded glass in them. When we have the king size master bed, uh, standard is the plush pillow top, or you can option in the sleep number, number bed. We've got storage above the bed. And again, there's no divider. And one of the things that I really love that Numar's done, they've put an outlet up there, and then you've got a little portal here. So if you've got a CPAP machine that you want to have sit up there and then thread it down here, um, for this for your, your sleeper here that is really nice you don't have to have anything on the nightstand but they do give you a nightstand and you've got um, two 110 outlets and two USB outlets and a little storage compartment here and then over here to the left of me I've got my third thermistor for the coach and then I've got the buttons for my speakers here then let's go underneath and look at the storage that we have under our bed that is a lot of storage. Very easy to get to because this just lifts up. You can do it with one hand. And great place for your extra chairs. All right, you also have a, a light panel underneath the bed. So you're gonna have the light for your reading lights, your accent light, your ceiling lights, and you can turn all the lights off in the whole coach from here. So if you get in bed and you wonder if you turned off that living room light, just hit the button right there. You also have two buttons, one for your driver's side security light and your passenger side security light. So if you hear a noise in the middle of the night and you want to scare whoever or whatever is outside your coach, you can just flip that light on. So here to the right of me, we've got the uh, button for the slide, for the bedroom slide to come in and out. Then we've got our control so we can turn the floor heat on and that's again high, medium, and low. And then we've got our light switch um, there for the bedroom area. Then check out the storage that we get. One of the things I love about this floor plan, I think why it's so popular, is you get the two wardrobes in the bedroom, um, the 43 inch Samsung TV. So lots of hanging space, lots of storage plate space. You have the cabinet here for your AV equipment. So you have an adjustable shelf. You have uh, an available 110 outlet here in the back. And then you've got your Sony uh, DVD Blu-ray player. And then you've got five nice deep drawers. So just a ton of storage in this bedroom. And again, all soft clothes. And we have another nightstand and cabinet on the other side of the bed with two 110 outlets and two USB ports. All right, now to the lovely master bathroom. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you walk into this master bathroom is this humongous shower, right? <laughs> so it's 50 by 34, which is just wonderful. We also have optioned it in with the uh, shower assist handle, just always nice to have. We've got the seat, fold down seat in there. I'm gonna get in here just so you can see how big it is. Look at the beautiful solid surface that's on this shower, and then you can flip that seat up if you're not gonna use it. And I also love that we have the shower head here. We also have the handheld device. Numar also gives us the AquaView shower miser. So this is something you're going to love. 
First of all, all you have to do, if you, this gives you instant hot water when you get into your coach, well, basically you don't have to run the hot water to make it warm before you get into the shower. So rather than wasting water while it's getting warm, so you're using water from your fresh water tank and then needlessly filling your gray water tank, all you do is, okay, when you get into the shower, you're gonna turn that button, not that tab down. Now the water that would typically be coming out the shower head is recirculate, recirculating back to the tank and warming up. And it says it will warm up in less than four seconds. So once this bulb lights up, then you're going to turn your knob here up. Now the water is going to come out of your shower head or out of your handheld device and it's gonna be warm. Now, just a word, um, a little warning. The water that's already in this line is going to be cold. So just that little first burst of water, which might wake you up in the morning, <laughs> will be cold, but everything else is gonna be warm. You're gonna love this feature. And then we've got the nice place, place for our soaps, our razors, and a little uh, kick plate there for your foot so you can shave your legs. Anyway, they've thought of everything and this is just a huge residential shower. Also notice while we're in the bathroom that you've got this nice cathedral ceiling. So you're gonna get that in any rear bath model in the 43 foot uh, Dutch stars. And it just makes it feel that much bigger, that much more luxurious in your coach. All right, another thing to watch out for when you're getting ready for a trip, you always wanna make sure you put that lock on your shower door so it doesn't come open and make sure your closet doors are nice and shut tightly. Now let's go to the emergency egress door. I love that Numar adds in extra safety fe features and we haven't even gotten to the dash where there's a whole bunch of extra sa safety features. So you're just going to unlock this and then you're going to open it up. Now you can raise that blind, which I'm gonna do right now. So you have nice clear access into the egress area. And this whole balance will pull off if you need it to. Then you just simply take off the panel here. You're going to unstrap the ladder there, extend it. It's going to telescope down and you are good to go out the coach. Now, a couple other things that this is nice for. Um, say you want to load or unload the coach just like for your closet. Really easy to just do it from here, handing your clothes or items back and forth. Also, if this commode ever needs to be serviced, it's very easy to service from that opening from the egress door. We've got our Dometic toilet here, and then we have the push buttons for that there. Got this nice big cabinet here with adjustable shelves, and our safe is just behind that. And then check out this big wardrobe. We've also got a light back there. The recessed shoe area is an option that you can add in. More adjustable shelves here. Just tons of space in this 4369 floor plan. So check out the beautiful vanity area of the 4369. I like to call this the marriage saver because not only do you each have your own sink, you each have your own medicine cabinet. And in my medicine cabinet, I'm gonna call it mine over here, I have the two 110 outlets in there so I can just throw my curling irons up here, shut the door and it's nice and tidy. Then we've got all this storage below on both sides. And then we've got four full extension drawers for more items. So I just love this. I also love the residential faucets a beautiful backsplash that you get here. I love that it's just the one whole faucet so that you have extra counter space and the integrated sink, it's beautiful. Then we've got our washer and dryer. So we have this Splendy washer and dryer. Now a little tip that I always like to tell people if you come into your coach, you've left it and it smells terrible. A lot of times it's just that the water has run dry in your P-trap. So all you need to do is get a gallon of water, throw that into the washing machine, put it on the rinse cycle, and that smell's gonna disappear. All right, I always like to show the coach with the slides in so you can see how much walking space you have. I could easily sleep in my bed without extending the slides at all, not a problem. Then as I walk into the kitchen, I can get into my pantry. I can easily 
get into my refrigerator and my freezer and then make sure I lock them back up. Then I can easily get into my half bath. I can prepare some food, wash dishes at the sink, be cooking on the stove, and then I have plenty of room to walk up to the front of the coach. All right, so now we're finally to the dash area, which there's lots to show here because we have the Freightliner chassis. So we have the whole Freightliner drive tech technology where everything is pretty much on the steering column now. So I'm excited to show you that. Freightliner has all the research and development of Daimler Chrysler behind it. So they're able to really add, pack a lot of features into the steering column, very much like your automotive experience in your car. So before we hit the steering column, I wanna go over a few features in the chair. First of all, we have the Villa um, furniture in the Dutch Star and super comfortable, just kind of envelops you and it just feels great. We also have the six-way powered chair And we have, this is the recline lever here. And then this would be your um, foot rest when you turn your chair around. So that's one thing I didn't talk about when we were in the living room. You can turn both these chairs around, your captain and co-captain chair, and then you have two extra recliners in your living room. So it makes for a very comfortable seating for your guests. Now on the other side of the chair here, I've got a lever that just looks exactly like this. But when I lift it, it's what's going to allow me to rotate the chair when I want to rotate it. And then I have the button for um, the heated seats. So you have heated seats in the Dutch Star. Yay, I love that. And then you also have the control for your lumbar support. So lots of features on this chair. Very nice. All right, so once you get to the campground, you're going to want to um, level your coach, especially if you're staying there for a while. So we have the hydraulic leveling system on the Dutch Star, and you can see right now that we're in travel mode. I'm gonna go ahead and put auto level, and then it will just, can you hear the air coming out of the suspension? Now all four corner red lights are lit, so we are level. If you are in a campground and you're trying to level and you get the message that there is an excessive slope, um, you may want to move your coach just a little bit and try again. Now, once you've tried two times, you really need to give um, the pump on your jacks a, a bit of a break because you don't want to overheat that system. So give it 20 minutes. Maybe you're gonna drive around and find another campsite um, where you might be able to level. That's just something that you wanna watch out for. When it's time to leave campground, we're just gonna go ahead and hit the auto store button and bring our jacks back up and take the coach back to travel mode. So we're back to travel mode, so we can go ahead and start the coach and get ready for departure. Now we have the internal controls for our external mirrors and our defrost button for our external mirrors. We have our tag dump, and we're gonna just always keep that on auto. Um, we have our automatic traction control. Now the only time we're gonna ever touch those two buttons is say we're in a slippery situation where we need more traction, then we would hit that. Then this is gonna be one of your favorite buttons because this is your power window button. All right, I love that they give the driver two cup holders here so you can have your water and your coffee, or your water and your Diet Coke. Just below the cup holder, we have two USB ports and then we have a nice little storage compartment here. All right, so we have another USB charging port and we have our auxiliary input. Then we have our, our battery boost and that's a super important button. If you ever come back to your coach, say um, you've never been to Canton in Texas, you need to make a trip. It's the weekend before the first Monday of every month. Um, but say you go to Canton, you park your RV, you're not plugged in, for some reason you come back and your chassis your batteries are dead and your coach won't start. So what you wanna do is push this button to tie your chassis and your house batteries together to give it enough oomph that you can start your generator run your generator for a little bit, and then go ahead and start your ignition. So here's your dome light. So that's really for the driver, kind of a map light. And then you have your little 
storage there for your maps. For those of us that carry maps, I still carry maps. I like the paper. <laughs> um, then we've got our parking brake, so we're gonna pull to apply and push to release. And then we've got our lights. So we just go to our auto, our headlights, and then we pull out to get our, pull out to put, put on our fog lights. And then one of the things that I love here is our wireless charging pad. So you can see, I just moved my phone. It's actually charging, 91% charge, just by laying there on that pad. All right, to my left here, I've got the pedal that I'm gonna push down and that will allow me to tilt my steering column forward and back. And then right next to that, I'm gonna use my foot, foot to point, that's our Deutsch plug. That's where a technician at National Indoor RV Centers can plug into that area and um, communicate basically with the, the engine diagnostically. All right, so let's go over the steering column. It's ergonomically designed, so it's very comfortable. It's gonna feel very automotive, just like your car. So I'm gonna go over and go ahead all the features here on the steering column. So let's start to the left here. Right down here, there's a little button, a little knob, and if you turn that towards you, then you can activate um, the knob. You're gonna push it forward and backwards to adjust the pedals. So I typically, like to have those pedals all the way forward. And then once you find where you're comfortable with the pedals, you're gonna go ahead and just turn that knob away from you and lock it in. All right, so you're gonna have all your windshield wiper functions right here on the left-hand paddle. So you're gonna push that in to spray the windshield wiper fluid, and you have your intermittent delay here, and then you can set the speed that you want them to go and turn them off right here. Now, this is also going to control um, your headlights. So if you want to push the toggle, the paddle away from you, then you can go between your high and low beams. If you just want to flash your high beams, tell um, a trucker that it's safe for him to move over and you just want to flash them, you're just going to pull that towards you. And then, of course, you're going to have your right and left turn signal on it as well. All right, so it's really cool because all the transmission um, functions are on this right-hand paddle rather than being over here. Now, we're all kind of used to them being over here, but I'm telling you, once you've driven this, you're gonna get used to that and it's really easy to have it right at um, your fingertips, much easier than looking for it over here. So you're just gonna toggle between drive, neutral, and reverse. It's just that simple. Then it's really nice because on your dash, it's gonna show you what gear you're in at all times on this nice screen that we have here. Say we wanna go into manual mode. Um, so we're just going to push the paddle away from us. That takes us into manual mode and then we push it forward as we change gears. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Once we get to fifth, if we push that forward again, it's going to automatically go back into auto mode. Now, if we are manually switching gears and we just want to go back to um, auto mode, you're just going to push that button in and it will take you back to auto transmission. Now, if you want to go from performance to um, economy mode, you're going to push and hold that and you'll see it display on your screen. Now, this is also where your engine brake is. Again, one of those things that you always had to reach for on the left hand side, it's right here and it's so easy. So you just one click down is low for your engine brake, then two click is medium, all the way down is high. So if I'm in, if I don't have it on for some reason and I need to stop quickly, I just throw it down and I'm in high um, engine brake right there. So simple. All right, so then we've got the controls here on the right hand side of the steering column. So we've got our cruise control, our resume. So we just hit that and it will come up on our screen, set and resume and cancel and then we can pick up a call or hang up a call and then these are our courtesy like marker lights so say we've passed a trucker he's flashed his headlights to let us know it's safe for us to come into the lane we would just hit those three times to say thank you so here to the left hand side of the steering column we've got all the information that we can get up here on the dash about the coach so if we just go to the home button we can see our trip one and trip two 
and get some information there. If we want to reset the trip, we can just push and hold and that will reset everything back to zero. So we're ready to start our trip now. Then we can go back to our gauges. So you can pick which gauges you want to be able to quickly see. So you can kind of scroll through them and then you can, I'm going to go back, but you can click this uh, like pages button there and it will pull them up quick. And you can scroll through information really easily. Then we've got our fuel economy. And then we've got our tire pressure monitoring system. So this is really nice. This comes standard on the Dutch Star now. So you can monitor the tire pressure and temperature of each tire. And you can also do it for um, your tow vehicle as well, if you wanna set that up. And then we have road watch. So that's our cruise control. And you can set the distance of the cruise control if you want it shorter, medium, or longer. So I like to have that at a close distance. I'm going to hit OK and set that. And then we're going to go back. We've got our vehicle configuration. Some ones that are, uh, you can just go through there. You obviously want standard units. Steering effort. So this is super important because this is our comfort drive and this is where we're going to adjust that. So comfort drive is huge. Numar's had it on its coaches forever. Um, it is our computer aided driving assist. So basically if you have a strong wind pushing against the coach, it's gonna feel that, detect it, and then adjust for you um, automatically. So you're never going to be fighting the steering wheel. Literally, you're just gonna be able to hold it, keep you going down, you know, straight down the highway. You're going to love it. Uh, I've had so many customers that have come from other manufacturers that don't have comfort drive that after their first trip, they call me and they're so excited because they're like, I was able to drive further. I wasn't, you know, stressed and tense by the end of the day. It's just a breeze to drive. So you can adjust um, that level like typically when I'm on the highway, I like to have more help so that the steering wheel feels a little bit tighter and stiffer. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it there. Now when you're a parking lot and you're in a tight situation, you might wanna take it down really low and then you can literally turn the steering wheel with your pinky finger. So lots of information right there at your fingertips. Right here below the paddle on the right hand side, we're gonna have our emergency lights. All right, so new for 2021 are these big nine inch screens and look at how clear they are. Much better, clearer picture, color picture. It's just super nice. And we've got our radio, our media center, our XM radio, Bluetooth, our HDMI, auxiliary, camera control, and we can just decide which view we want or my favorite, which is the 360 view. I love to have that. Go back to our menu. iPod, our nav system. So we can accept that. And then go to our maps, input our address. We've got it all right there. And then our settings. So this is where you can personalize um, the, you know, how loud the beep tone is, your screen, language, how bright the brightness or dimness of the screen. So you can customize those things right here. All right, so here we have our visor that's for the driver's side or the toll window for the day shade. And then we have the visor day shade for the front windshield and the night shade for the front windshield. We have our docking lights, super important. Make sure you have those on, on anytime you're pulling in or out of a tight spot. Um, then we have our overhead fans and then we could turn those on and then we can set it to high medium or low so these are great if you need to defrost um, the windshield and then we have the front fan for our furnace so we can go high or low off or high and then we can start our generator from here we can lock our entry door from here this is where we're going to turn on our air horn again i think that should always be on our courtesy lights so the passenger visor so, you know, that way, if your passenger wants to have the shade, they can put that down. They can look through that screen. But if they want to have clear view um, to their right side as they're going down the road, 
they can put that up and now with the new screen in the front door you can have that up and you just don't have anything obstructing your view as you're going down the road and then here's a 360 camera we can toggle through the different views that we're getting from our 360 camera so another option that you can add to your coach are the power day and night shades inside the coach so you've got remotes here and you can do all your nightshades so you can bring them up all at once and if you look around the coach here all those nightshades are going up you can stop it anywhere in the process and then you can go ahead and put them back down if you want so you can do that with your day or night shades. And we have our ignition, we have our 12 volt receptacle here, we have our fan speed here, our cold and our hot, and then we have where we want that air to flow, to our feet, to our face, just like in your car. Then we've got our nice little compartments here. We can put keys in there, our gum, whatever you need, but they're nice little tight compartments that shut nicely and won't rattle as you're going down the road. All right, so here I am in the comfy co-pilot's chair, and we've got the six-way power on this as well. And we can recline the chair, and we've got our footrest, so you can go ahead and get nice and comfy. I'm ready to hit the road and maybe have a nap too, because <laughs> it is so comfy. And then over to my right, I've got the lever, which will allow me to turn the chair around my heat a heated seat button and then my lumbar support now here to my right i've got cup holder love that then i've got the ceiling light so when i come in the coach i can hit that ceiling light button and turn the main ceiling lights on and off i've got my step cover so if i go ahead and extend that that's going to give me a nice solid ground that i can stand on when i go ahead and get up from my seat to go get some drinks and then I've got my day visor button and I've got my map light. Now just behind those buttons, I've got my uh, wireless charging pad. And then just behind that, I've got my USB port and I have two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports. So plenty of charging options. Now, another feature that I really like, we've got our desk that we just bring out flip down another spot for a drink I can work on my iPad or crossword puzzle whatever I want as we're going down the road all right so one of the features that I really like especially for the driver here is I've got a day shade that I can raise or lower just right here from this button and then on my big on the door so instead of having a screen door there that I'm always having to look through that so I have kind of a obstructive view I have a screen that now I can pull down. It's gonna magnet and then you just push it down to release. So if I don't wanna look through that screen, I have this you know, huge windshield plus my side window here that I can see outside. So I really like that feature. All right, so we're just about ready to hit the road in the Dutch Star. Now, this is one of these things that I will tell you over and over again. Um, as you're trying to decide which coach to buy, you really ought to come out to National Indoor RV Centers and take one for a test drive because that will solidify your decision, I have no doubt. Um, another thing I wanted to tell you about with, um, we're on the Freightliner chassis. So Freightliner has a great app. So it's called their 24 seven direct app. And you can just go to that and it will give you a maintenance checklist. You can go to dash lights so that you can see the different warnings that you get on your dash and then what, you know, what they mean if it's something you need to pull over for, um, if you need to find the nearest dealer, if you're on the road and you need some help, you can get to that. It's just really helpful. You're gonna have a qualified technician on the phone when you do call for help. So you're gonna love that with your Freightliner chassis. Another thing with Numar that I failed to mention is right here, when I lift up my shade, you're gonna have a product um, brand specialist here. So these numbers are for you through Numar 24 seven help as well. So you, you don't just buy this coach and you're left on your own. You've got help from your manufacturer and the um, manufacturer and the chassis manufacturer and of course, National Indoor RV Centers. 
All right, so we're just about ready to hit the road, seat belted in. Um, things that I want you to think about, don't be afraid to drive a Class A diesel. Um, the difference, the main difference is, is that your front axle is actually behind you. You don't start your turn until the center of your front axle is at the turn. So you can put your nose out there a little bit further. It's gonna feel uncomfortable at first, um, but then you're gonna be able to watch in your mirrors on your 360 camera. If I'm getting close to that curb, I can stop, I can adjust, and I'm gonna miss it. So the one thing that I always caution people about when you're driving a Class A diesel is just take your time. And that's RVing in general. This is gonna be fun, take your time. Don't be in a rush. When you're in a rush, that's when accidents happen. So you always gotta look out for street signs, for trees, um, when you're at gas stations, make sure you watch their signs because sometimes their signage is a little low. Just things to think about. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my blinker and I'm gonna pull out I'll watch my back tire. I can see that I'm totally gonna clear that curb. And we're off. It's as easy as that. So I'm also gonna just adjust my pedal, make sure that's right where I want it to be. And I can always just adjust a little bit while I'm going. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna have that engine brake on. So I'm gonna take my right pedal, paddle here and just pull it down low, medium, on high. So now when I take my foot off the brake, you're gonna feel the coach start to brake on its own. You see it sl slowing down? My foot is not on the brake at all. It will almost bring me to a stop. All right, another thing, if you've watched my videos, you'll have heard this before, but I heard it about 10,000 times if I heard it once. Um, whatever lane you are traveling in, you want to hug the left side of that lane. Typically, all the bad things, street signs, tree limbs, road debris, they're on the right side of that lane. So you want to hug the left side of the lane that you're in. Now remember, if you happen to um, get a little too close to a tree and you've got some scratches going down the side of your coach, bring your coach to us at National Indoor RV Centers. We have the best collision, um, paint and body, technicians and they really are artists. They do a wonderful job. I've got a video out there about that you might want to check out, um, but make sure you bring it to us. First call, if anything ever happens to your baby, call National Indoor RV Centers and we will help you take care of everything. All right, so the Dutch Star comes. Uh, we optioned in the adaptive cruise control. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get up to speed here. And then I can just hit this button here. That's gonna make my cruise control active and then as soon as I get up to speed I'll set it and then it's gonna keep me at a safe following distance as long as there's nothing in front of me. So I'm at 55, it's a pretty crowded road here. Um, if it feels that I'm getting too close to a car in front of me, just go ahead and slow me down. Not only does the Dutch Star have a collision, um, the adaptive cruise control, we also have the collision mitigation so it's going to um, actively break for us if it sees that we're getting close to like a front-end collision. Um, you also have electronic stability control. So it feels like if you're um, taking a curve too tight and you're swaying, it will actively break and release as needed to keep you safe. And again, with the Freightliner chassis, you have the V-Ride suspension. So that's gonna eliminate a lot of that sway if you are on an overpass that's turning um, feeling like you're a little top heavy, it's gonna keep you right in line. You don't even need to worry about that. All right, so I want to try to show you how tight this coach will turn. So I'm experimenting with you, first time here. I'm gonna see if I can make a U-turn from the far right lane into the far right lane. So let's see what we can do. All right, folks. <laughs> How impressive is that? I am in the first lane. So I actually could have made the turn. Maybe I'll do it for you again. I could have made the turn from the, let me see, the left lane into the second lane. So I, you can flip a Yui in this coach. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so I always like to see, you know, use a decibel reader and see how noisy or quiet it is in the cab of the coach that I'm in. So it is 67.8.
super quiet and that's with the generator running with my ACs running. So you're going to enjoy this ride. You don't have to yell to your co-pilot over there. You can have a nice conversation as you're going down the road. All right, so I want to, you to see that 360 view that I have right now. I can see all the cars around me. And if I want to try to get over, I can see that I'm gonna safely be able to get over. And then when I return back, I'll go back to that 360 camera that I really like. And I can see everything that's around me there. So you have great cameras, you have great screens, very easy to see while you're driving. Um, it really makes driving this a breeze. And again, I've got my comfort drive, so I can do this with one hand. <laughs> um, not a very windy day today, but if it was a windy, if there was an angle, a camber to the road, that comfort drive is gonna automatically sense that and adjust for me. So really, you can just sit back and enjoy. You're not gonna be tense. Um, enjoy the ride, enjoy seeing this beautiful country. That is what RVing is all about. And really right now, um, with everything going on that's so crazy in our world, RVing is the safest way to travel. You get to sleep in your own bed. You don't have to mess with all the procedures and everything that you have to do at the airports. So um, get out, enjoy nature, enjoy this country. Um, what are you waiting for? So I hope you've enjoyed my tour of the 2021 Newmar Dutch Star 4369 floor plan. Now, if you wanna know about any of the other floor plans, there's 13 floor plans in the Dutch Star. Give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. Another huge feature that they added for 2021 in the Dutch Star is the air chair. So I showed that in my Newmar preview. It can only be optioned in on a Dutch Star, so give us a call. We can give you all the details. There's also a um, handicap accessible coach as well in the Dutch Star lineup. So give us a call, we can help you with it all. So I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous coach would cost you. So MSRP, which is all we're allowed to tell on the video, is $520,550. So if you wanna know how much I can sell you this coach for, please give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers, 469. 277-1330 or you can go to our website nirvc.com or please email me personally at angie at nirvc.com now remember with our volume and economies of scale rvs simply cost less from national indoor rv centers if you've liked this video please hit the like and subscribe also make sure you check out my rv 101 series and you've got to come and check out one of our AIM rallies. That's our all-inclusive motorhome club. So check out that right here. And if you ever get your beautiful coach um, in a little fender bender and you want it fixed right, make sure you check out my collision and repair video because the first call, if anything like that ever happens, and this can happen to most of us at some point in time, is to call National Indoor RV Centers. Thank you so much for watching with me today and have a great day.